Hello, so I thought I'd put a small video together to show you how to farm most resources in one place, i.e. legendary guns, XP, money, iridium. Um, so I'm in true Vault Hunter mode, you don't have to be, but I would recommend it. Um, what I'm doing is I've just completed the quest for Maya. You save her village or her temple and you bring her back to Sanctuary. Once you've done that, you can then return to uh, Athenus and go back to the end where the vault is. I think it's a vault, it's more like a secure place. Um, anyway, I'm going there and you can just rinse and repeat on Tron, the boss, in order to get in there. So basically, all I did was I went back, um, I did the quest for Ava to kill Private Beans. Um, once I'd done that, I, I just went straight to the temple and there is a Digistruct um, respawner there. And basically all I did was activate it, go into the Tron fight, kill him, save and quit the game reload at the at the uh, respawn go straight into the boss fight and rinse and repeat over and over again now you'll notice it that i'm actually one-shotting him with a couple grenades um i put a video out on this i'll put it in the, the the link in the description it's probably going to be patched within the next few days if not already i did see a borderlands patch but i'm guessing that's for direct x12 it might be for the grenade also um it's completely busted i put a video out on it basically you just lob the grenade it's the porcelain pipe bomb and you get it in normal playthrough and it enables you to one shot every every enemy in the game as long as they're standing still because the way the grenade works is um it will duplicate itself it's like a bug it will keep respawning itself and keep exploding over and over again like a hundred times over and you'll just one shot um if it gets patched this is still pretty pretty viable um capture Trump's not a hard fight you can just take a really good shock weapon to destroy his uh shield then take a good fire weapon or corrosive and or and or radiation and you can just destroy his health bar and it will be a bit slower than what i'm doing but um as you can see it's the grenade still going so if you see this video in the next couple days if it's not been patched go ahead and use the grenade i would recommend it uh if not it's going to be a bit slower but um yeah Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again soon. Have a look. I am. Hey. One of two legendaries done. Speed loading Hellwalker. Okay, so money in Borderlands 3 is used for way more things than what it was for in previous games. So if there was a way of farming money, so to speak, a way of getting money super easy, you'd want to know how. Well, that's what I bring you today. Okay, so this will be a lot easier for you if you have what I believe is the pre-order gold weapon skins, which you also get via purchasing the deluxe or super deluxe editions of the game. If you haven't, this is still possible but it will take a lot of luck on your behalf in the sense you'll need to find a certain item okay so for those with the gold weapon skin pack once you have claimed them via the mail social tab you will bag yourself a grenade called the rubber cheddar shredder one of its benefits is to make it rain enemies drop a holy metric buttload of cash when damaged and damn people they do indeed drop a rack of cash for you to collect now me being an idiot that on my first character I actually didn't read that small print and got rid of this item due to its level being below mine. So I had to create another character to snag this which works by the way. So if you accidentally get rid of one of your pre-order or special edition items you can create another character and get them back. Then if you want to use said item such as this grenade on your main have a pal invite you to his game on your character that you've just created which will have said items. Drop the item for them, leave that game, load up your main character then join back and collect that loot. So having this grenade equipped, all you have to do is land shot on enemies. Now if you know a place where multiple enemies spawn and gather together, you are good to go and farm that money. A place I have been using which is incredible is Mouthpiece, one of the first bosses you encounter within the Ascension Bluff area. Now what makes this place great is the fact that there are plenty of loot boxes for you to get them grenades from right before the boss encounter and even within the boss encounter 
the enemies are endless and there are loads of loot boxes all over the place. So it's basically a constant flow of grenades and money and you rack up thousands in minutes people and the best thing about this is guys there is a save point right outside this place so when you think you farmed enough and don't want to carry on to beat the boss or you want to reset because the boss his health is low and you don't want to kill him simply quit out and reload back up your game you respawn right outside this boss room encounter ready to stop back up on all those grenades and start the process again now the grenades are pretty tricky to land because they bounce but if you land a direct impact they will explode but I'm pretty sure you actually get more money if you they bounce first and hit an enemy. I was trying to bank shot some off the wall to make them come back and hit the boss and it seemed as though I was getting more money but that's a test for another video. Now these grenades are not limited though to the pre-order and special editions. You can find these grenades in game which offer this special perk. But that will take a little look. So if you come across any grenades and want to do this, read the small print people. So yeah, people, obviously the main thing we will be purchasing as we further on progress into the game are SDUs. And you need money for that. And this is the perfect spot, the perfect farm for that. So farm that money, purchase those SDUs, and you are What's up guys, it's Molten Marlin, and today I have a very special video for you. It's five glitches that have not been patched yet. To start off the glitches, we have a damage boost that can be applied to guns, grenades, melee, whatever you want. And I'm going to start off by shooting Marcus's dummy and this will be a base test to see how much the damage actually increases by. And you can clearly see that without the glitch I'm hitting 413,000. So to start this glitch off, you're going to need Commander Lilith's DLC and you're going to want to make your way to Doll Abandon. Once you get here, make sure to get a vehicle and follow where I go in the video. When you arrive in this area, make sure to park your vehicle with one wheel in front of that little rock that's sticking out and one behind, and that's how you know you did it right. So to start this off, hop out of your car and enter the gas, then turn around and jump back into your car, and you know you'll do this right if you have the green effects in the corner of your screen. And just to show that this worked, I will be shooting at the dummy again and as you can clearly see it is now 1.4 mil and that is about 3.4 times as much damage as before. I'm assuming that this damage buff works different with all guns but I'm not 100% positive and if you don't want the effect anymore just save and quit. To start off the next glitch we have a Krieg glitch, yes I know finally some love for him because he has no glitches whatsoever, but anyways this is a invincibility glitch and the only thing you will need is a car station and to release the beast, that's about it. So make your way on over to a car station and once you get there, pull out some type of grenade or some way to damage yourself and get yourself to below 33% health and once you get below 33% health quickly use your action skill go into the car station deploy a vehicle teleport to the vehicle you must do that part pretty fast and it could take a few times but it is not that hard to get the hang of so don't worry so now that I did the glitch let's go see if it works and you can see that the spider ants are actually not taking off any of my shield and that's also how you know if you did it right. Quick shout out to me for making a rookie mistake and not being able to kill a slag spider ant in normal mode. Another thing is that you can also use your action skill again if you want to. The glitch won't go away and if you don't want it anymore just save and quit or you could just kill yourself either one. Now this one isn't per se a glitch, but I just happened to put this in here. So all you're going to need for this is a low level Logan's gun, a rocket launcher of some type, and the sham. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what type, but don't quote me on that. And what you're going to want to do is pull out that Logan's gun, shoot at the ground multiple times, and 
what should happen is actually your sham is absorbing the Logan gun and it counts that as a rocket launcher so you're actually getting rocket launcher ammo from your Logan's gun so it's technically infinite rocket ammo yes here we are with the famous digistruct peak rocket jump skip and I chose to do this on Salvador but in reality you can do it on any character but I am only going to show Salvador because I am not good at rocket jumping with any other character and I would recommend watching Jolt's video on it and I will put that link in the description. You heard me right, even Krieg can do the rocket jump glitch. Yes, I know, Krieg's fat ass can actually do this glitch. Anyways, back to the glitch, so start Digistruct Peak, run past all these enemies and just head to the left. And just to let you guys know, I'm going to be rocket jumping with two low level butter booms. So once you reach these big rocks over here, Gunzerk, double grenade jump, and then shoot, and you should land on top of the rock. Now the next part is pretty tricky and it did take me quite a bit of tries to do, but just find the perfect sweet spot to grenade jump and once you do that, just double grenade jump and fly across the cavern quick thing to add you'll notice that the binary boss isn't uh, coming out and that is because I am a level 72 and I cannot actually fight the boss because I technically do not have OP levels so that is why and if you wanted to see what I am using here's my gear two butta booms and the rest doesn't really matter and here is my skill tree and the only mandatory one is double your fun which allows you to throw two grenades in gun zerk mode. I will finish up my video with a classic XP glitch that I'm pretty sure everyone that plays Borderlands 2 knows about but I'm just going to show it anyways. If you want to do this glitch make sure you haven't completed rock paper scissors and Marcus gives that out. So bust left right before Marcus is so you're on this dark alleyway. Attempt to jump on the corner of this little pillar right here I kind of fail. Once you jump on that, try to jump onto the light next to it. Then after you jump on that, just jump up again and you'll be out of the map. Once you're out of the map, look towards Marcus's shop, strafe and attempt to jump onto that little jutting part that's sticking out. And this part can get a bit confusing. Just stay to the right of the vendor and hug the wall. Once you get past the vendor, you're going to, there's going to be an opening. Go to the right again, all the way into the corner. Then look to your left, hug the wall all the way down, and you will reach a little ledge slowly go onto the ledge you can fall off at this point so make sure you slowly go on it and there you are you are where the dummy is to be honest the hardest part of this glitch is actually jumping on top of the dummy and once you're on top of him just start going ham on him you'll get xp but i'm playing in normal mode so i don't get any xp from this because i'm such a higher level than him and another thing is most people use infinity pistols on this Quick reminder to everyone, Gage usually cannot use these because of anarchy, but that's about it for this glitch. If you happen to enjoy the video, please subscribe to my channel. I am desperate for subscribers. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.